Hi everybody, so today I want to talk about how to tune a violin. Now, the first thing we need to do is just go over the four strings of the violin. So as you can see here, I've got four strings, one, two, three, four, and you can see they're of different thicknesses. Now, the lowest one is G, which is the thickest, then we've got the next highest one, which is D, and then A, and then E. Now, when tuning these, it's really important to remember what the note letters are, because I would recommend you use a tuning app. And you'll pluck a string, it'll come up with the letter, and then there'll be a sort of hand which moves either to the right if it's too high or to the left if it's too low. And you need to remember that you're looking out for these letters. You're looking out for G, and then D, and then A, and then E. And you can also use this video to double check to see if your string is in the ballpark, if it's close to what these sound like. Um, but yes, I would recommend getting an app on your phone. It's usually free, you can also buy an electric tuner, or if you've got a piano that's in tune, or an electric piano, and you're okay with matching pitch, you can also do it like that. Um, but personally, I would use a tuner because it shows you exactly if it's too high or too low, because sometimes it's quite hard to hear. Now, if on the tuner app, the little hand goes to the right, that means the string is too high or too sharp, which means that the string is too tight, so you'll need to loosen the string. And the other way, if the hand goes to the left, it means your string is too low or too flat, and you'll need to loosen the string. Now, when it comes to tuning, there are two different ways. There's this way at the top, which is the pegs, and that's for if the string is really, really out of tune. Hopefully you won't have to use them, but we'll get to those in a second. The best way to tune it, if it's just a little bit out of tune and you want to check it, are these. Now, your violin probably has four. I only have one, but that's okay, I still use this one, and this is called an adjuster. And it works exactly the same way as a normal screw, or like screwing the end of your bow. Right makes it tight, left makes it loose. So, as I said before, if the string is too high on your tuner, you turn it to the left to make it looser, because it's too tight. And if your string is low, is left on your tuner, that means it's too low, so you turn it to the right to make it tight. So you do the opposite of what it is on the tuner, in order to correct the pitch. And I would suggest you only turn it a little bit at a time and you keep plucking the string as you do it so that you can really check because there is a danger if you turn the string too tight, it could snap, which is not a good thing. It's like having a cheese wire fly at you, quite scary, makes a very loud bang. And if you turn it too low, the string might come out of the bridge um, and then you've got to fiddle around to get it back in, which is quite tricky. So do it a little bit at a time. Now, if the string is really, really out of tune and it's coming up with completely wrong notes on your tuner, what I would suggest is you use the pegs. It's exactly the same thing. You turn it away from you, so you turn it to the right. If you follow it like a screw, you turn it to the right to make it tighter and to the left to make it looser. Be really, really careful when doing the thin string, the E string, because that has a. it's really easy to snap it. And so make sure you only turn it a tiny, tiny amount at a time. It's much better that it takes you 10 minutes to tune the violin, but you get it right, than you spend 30 seconds and go, oop, and the string snaps, because then you have to replace the string and you might not have a spare. So tiny, tiny little turns at a time, always checking, always plucking. There's sometimes a problem where the pegs get a little bit loose. And so when you're turning the peg, gently put your finger on the other side, say so I'm tuning this one, which is the A string, you can follow the string up to the relevant peg, push in on the peg as you turn it in, so up or down. And um, But use the pegs as a last resort, try and use the adjusters if you can, but when using the pegs, turn them very, very slowly. And the if you have done a lot of tuning with the pegs and the violin has gone really out of tune, the next thing to check is that your bridge is still upright. Your bridge should be at a right angle here, on this side closest to the tailpiece and the chin rest. So it should be a right angle here. And if it's not, all you do is you, I would do this sitting down, but I'm standing up, so I'll show you standing up. You push this in so that it's nice and secure. You grab the bridge with two hands and very, very gently shuffle it. Loosen the pegs a little bit if they're not already too loose but do not under any circumstances loosen all the strings at once because then the bridge will fall over and you'll be in a terrible, terrible mess. Um, so hopefully your bridge will be fine and you only need to adjust it if it's really obviously leaning. If it's just a tiny bit out, it's fine. You can leave it until you next see your teacher. And then the final thing I want to say is just to help you keep the violin in tune. If you store it too close to a window, too close to a draft, 
it'll get really cold, it'll go out of tune. If you store it, again, too close to a window, um, when it's really sunny, too close to a radiator, um, near the kitchen or in the kitchen, um, it might get too hot and it will also go out of tune. They're very, very temperature sensitive. So try and keep it somewhere where it's at a constant temperature, it's not near a radiator, it's not near a draft, and it's safe and out of the way. And hopefully you will be able to keep your violin in tune and tune your violin. Just to recap, the app that I was talking about, the tuner app, is called Sound Corset. Um, it's free, it's definitely an Android, I'm pretty sure it's on iPhone as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully that's really helpful and good luck with tuning your violin during this time.